In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the attribute editor. To save on time, I've already opened it, but you would open it here by right-clicking on the attribute XML and selecting Edit. So, we're going to make a copy of the Grenadier Squad as an example. This is the Grenadier Squad MP, so that's the multiplayer version. And we're just going to essentially edit the existing one, so we're just going to keep the name and the location the same. And let's say our edit is going to be to increase the number of men in the squad to 9. So we'll change that to 9. So now the existing Grenadier squad will have 9 men instead of 4. But if we wanted to make a completely new unit, we could clone again, but this time change either the name or the location or both. We're going to keep the loc strings the same. And let's change them to 9 as well. And one thing we can do as well is uh, create a new entity. So we're going to go to the entities here. We're going to do our MP again. We're going to change this one to... Actually... Not that it matters, but... There we go. Just to keep it consistent with the existing one. And uh, now we'll go to abilities. And we'll find the Panzerfaust ability. We'll make a new one named after our new entity. And let's say we want to make this one free. So we'll take away the munition cost there. We'll go back to the entity, we'll go to his ability extension, and swap out the ability here to our custom one. You'll see that it changed from attributes to first mod, so it's a custom one now. And then we'll go back to the squad and we'll change the type of entity being used here to our new one. So now there's nine fusiliers instead of grenadiers. And one way you can tell if you're editing or creating a new one is to check the PBG ID right here. So if it's a custom one, it's going to have a completely unique crazy number, whereas the edits will have the exact PBG the exact same PBG ID as the original. So you can see here Grenadier Squad MP has 12 and our edit has 12 as well. So let's see what else we could do here. You can also scroll down to weapon. And we could even see its axis here. So we'll go small arm, single fire, rifle. And we'll make a copy of the Grenadier rifle. Well this will be a new one called Fusilier, and we'll change the damage, let's say, to 32. I know, crazy, right? And the range, I don't know, let's say to 40. Oops. And we go back to our entity, go to the combat extension, hardpoint, drill down to the weapon table and the weapon, and this is where we'll swap it out. You can filter again. And now they have a new weapon that does more damage and has a little more range. If we wanted to, you could also go to population, change how much each entity costs population-wise, or you could change how much time they take to build in seconds, or the manpower. And this is per entity, so it'll add up um, in the squad. So if you have nine men, it'll be nine times 60 and nine times six. So be sure to change those accordingly. Uh, let's see what else we could change here. We'll just keep it simple for now and go with that. So at this point you would save. And you can see here it has saved all the new files I've created. And you would hit OK. You go back to Mod Builder. You would build. And uh, it, it'll take a few seconds here to work. But eventually you'll be able to see that it has added all your attributes to the mod. Okay, so now it's done, and that's all I have for this tutorial.